We can also work backwards through our equation, solving for one of the other variables in the equation. So in this example, we have a processor that has 100 watts of power. It's using 2 volts of electricity to run at 3 gigahertz. So we'd like to know what the capacitive load of this processor is. So we have 100 watts is equal to our capacitive load in farads times 2 volts squared and it runs at 3 gigahertz. So we want to solve for a capacitive load so we divide by both of these two terms 100 watts divided by 4 volts squared times 3 gigahertz. Again, we'll need to change our gigahertz into hertz. So we'll have 100 watts divided by 4 volts squared times 3 times 10 to the 9th hertz. Obviously, 100 divided by 4 works out very nicely. And we'll get 25 over 3 for our main number. Now we have this 10 to the 9th on the bottom. This would become 10 to the minus 9th if we put it on the top. Alternatively, we can write this as 25 thirds in nanofarads.